Okay, now, of course, my name's Nick Dutch, I'm back on the camera yet again, one more time, hi there, how the heck's it going? Please do forgive me if it upsets you that once in a while I tend to go on a bit of a rant and I get some stuff out of my system about things that really upset me. Uh, and this is the sort of thing which does upset me. Okay, I did this video many, well, what is now a few years ago, called Demonology, How Do Invoked Demons Exist? Alright, and, you know, I, I'm asking the question there, I just want to try and get some answers, uh, and I try to provide basically the same argument I typically do provide for this type of subject. Uh, and then, hey presto, I get a comment on it. Okay, so it's obviously good that my older videos are being watched and are being commented upon. But this is expressed in a manner which makes me feel upset. It starts off by saying, I have been doing ritual for over 10 years. So, I don't like that because it seems like he's trying to pull rank. And in what way is doing a ritual some kind of qualification when essentially if you're trying to apply some kind of scientific thought to occultism you've got to be able to demonstrate that you can apply scientific thought to occultism and therefore the rank that you assign yourself or you feel has been assigned to you by um, the number of man hours you spent waving your wand in a circle with candles in it, I don't think that that actually is a qualification, okay? But that's how it starts. This is a, just a comment in the comment section, and I do understand, of course, that people do tend to just let off steam and just say whatever they feel in the comment section, if you get my drift. So I, I can't be tolerant of that, but it still is a bit setting the tone a little. Then it goes on, it says, to invoke a spirit into the room with you experiencing the spirit on your senses, hyphen, in capitals, you must use blood for the medium in which the spirit will manifest itself. The amount of blood matters because the energy of it will exhaust itself. Use a lot. Okay, now this is where it gets sodding, frigging, despicable. Don't do this, okay? Don't capitalize in my comment section as if you're shouting at me. This doesn't help, okay? And what is the idea of using the word must? All right, that's an order. Okay, that's an, that's that's not an instruction. That's a command. You must use blood. Why is it that you must use blood? When basically other people who are spiritualists and occultists and mediums and all the rest of that say that you can do quite well without using blood at all. And what about the amount of blood mattering? I mean, this is, an, this is the, like hard truth claims about an unempirical subject. Alistair Crowley used the word unempirical, okay? And he's the one that all of these wankers worship. Alright? Oh. Grr! The amount of... Does he have a website that sells jugs you use to measure your own blood in, for crying out loud, say? Is that it? No, this is the type of jug I prefer to use to measure out my own blood. This is the type of knife I prefer to use to gash my arteries to let the blood. Uh, yes, and it's the type of tourniquet I use to close up, the, you know, the flow of blood printed from that limb. And this is the telephone I use to call the ambulance when I'm dying from lack of blood. Ah. Uh. I mean, it, it's, it's dangerous to command people in this way. It is dangerous to command people to mutilate themselves. Alright? It is dangerous to talk about blood in this way. Because this is it's psychologically unhealthy as well as being unhygienic. And, and there's a possibility of infection and all the rest of that. And um, by what standard... 
can he say that he has chosen this amount of half a quart of blood? You know, a pint of blood, basically. And then, where it has to be placed, it then says it has to be placed outside the circle, inside the triangle, placed in one of the four cardinal directions. A bowl is set in that triangle which holds the, the bowl, it says here. I think he means blood there. Isolate yourself. I mean, oh my word, this is like, this is not just dogmatic fundamentalism, this is dogmatic fundamentalist extremism, plus self-mutilation, plus something which is, like, wrong on every possible level. And there's no scientific thought in this, there's no attempt to try and understand this, and it's just screaming at people. It says here, I, I, I'll, show, I'll, show, I'll show it to you, okay, because I'm going to delete this comment because it's dangerous. I'm not going to allow it to stay there. I'm going to delete it. It's dangerous. Right, there you go. You can see it all there in its glory. I have been... Oh, there you see it. I have been doing ritual for over ten years to invoke the spirits into the room with you, experiencing the spirits in your senses. You must... Use a blood. How many times has this person read Bram Stoker's Dracula whilst taking acid? Oh, do my blood for the medium in which the spirit will manifest itself. Ah, the amount of blood matters. It matters. It matters. <laughs> because the energy of it will exhaust itself. I am from Transylvania. My name is Dracula. Oh my god. This is that that is just oh mm. uh, just for anyone who's curious, there's an interesting looking login name for you to have a look at. I'm not gonna view his videos. I really am not. Hmm. Now, it could just be that this guy is um, you know, a, a mental case, a troll, um, someone who needs serious psychiatric help, and I should be being compassionate towards him. But on the other hand. I think this is a dangerous message. I don't think it should be promoted. I'm therefore going to remove this comment, and if anyone doesn't like that, they can fuck off too.